Hi everyone, I'm Esther from Essie Cooks and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your holiday centerpiece for vegetarians or vegans and this is going to be a lentil stuffed squash. So I got this insanely big acorn squash so I'm going to be using this here today. You can actually do this in a butternut squash or you can do this in two small acorn squashes. So I'm making a portion that's going to be big enough to serve about eight people as our main centerpiece of course with a bunch of sides, desserts, everything like that. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this. All right, so normally with an acorn squash, I would be cutting it this way. Um, but because of the shape of this, I want this to present as a bowl. I want it to look really pretty and beautiful. So I am going to be cutting it around the middle. If you are going to do it this way, be so, so, so careful. Watch your fingers. Be very careful with your knives. Oh wow, look at that. This is gonna make a beautiful centerpiece. All right now, next I'm gonna start scraping some of that flesh and seeds out from the middle, but we are not wasting these precious seeds. I'm gonna be saving these seeds and roasting them, which make an amazing snack or topping for your holiday dishes. So I'm just gonna start by just scraping out just that little bit of seeds and flesh there, as you can see. That's what we want, just scrape it down like that is perfect. All right, now I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees and I have just a little bit of olive oil, just about a teaspoon or two, which I'm gonna rub around just the outer edge of my acorn squash here. So I'm just gonna Rub that all around. Perfect. And I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle of salt and pepper on there as well, just for a little flavor. Huge. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna place it face side down, just like that. See if we can fit both. All right, now I'm gonna place this in the oven at 400 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes until the squash is nice and tender and we can pierce it with a fork. And while that squash is roasting, we can prepare our filling. So it's only gonna take about 15 minutes to prepare the filling. So you can start it right away or you have 15 minutes to do whatever before you get started. So I've got one yellow onion. I'm gonna finely dice that, half a cup of walnuts and then a pan on medium heat. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil and that chopped yellow onion. So I'm gonna cook that down for about three to four minutes until those onions are nice and translucent. Then we're gonna add in three cloves of minced garlic and I'm I'm gonna cook that down for one minute. It smells so good. This is the start to any delicious, amazing recipe in my opinion. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning and I'm gonna toast that. Don't skip out on toasting your spices. It does add a lot of flavor to the dish if you remember to do it in this order. And we're also gonna add our half cup of chopped walnuts in here as well. And we're gonna give those a little toast in the pan too. It's just all of these steps are gonna add to the flavor. So walnuts, it seems really weird to put them in, but they're such a nice, you know, fall winter flavor. And they add to the meaty texture with the lentils. They actually taste so delicious in any sort of a pasta sauce. And we are gonna be adding that in as well. So we've got one 19 ounce can of rinsed and drained lentils. That's gonna be our protein in there with the walnuts. And then I'm gonna add in one can of tomato sauce. So I'm gonna mix that all together. And for a little umami, I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari. If you wanna make this dish gluten-free, it's super easy to make it gluten-free. Just substitute in the tamari instead. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna add red chili flakes to taste. And I'm gonna simmer this until it reduces. It's gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes of cooking time. And don't forget to stir. Don't forget to wash for tomato splatter, but it should be nice and thick like this. And that is perfect. And then we're gonna check on our squash if it's easily pierced through with a fork. Then we know it's ready. And once that squash is ready, we can pull it out and start adding in our filling. So put all of the filling into the center of this and then we'll move on to the next. Now I have one cup of shredded vegan mozzarella. So I'm gonna be sprinkling that on top. Then I'm gonna put these back in the oven for 15 minutes. Mm. 
make sure you keep watching because we are going to do a taste test and if you like this video so far and you want to get more holiday recipe ideas like this just make sure you hit that subscribe button below hit that like button below and you can get more recipes like this we have a complete holiday recipe taste list coming up time. all right this looks delicious mm. Mm. that's really really Mm-hmm. <laughs>